This is a video to help you when stuffing, sewing up and doing the finishing touches on the onion from Alexandra's Garden Vegetables. Now, the first warning is you're going to need quite a lot of stuffing because this is a big hollow shape that we're going to need here. So make sure you've got a big bag of stuffing before you begin. And what I'm going to start with is by doing the roots for you. So um, this bit that you just add on to the bottom, you can do that afterwards after you've stuffed if you want to. But I'm going to do it directly onto this piece here. This one is made in camel and I'm going to be making one in a beetroot to represent a um, red onion. So using the colour that you've made the main body of the onion in, what you'll have on your base is a back loop only round. And you'll see that what doing that round of back loop only does is it gives you a circle from which you can work to put these roots on. So that forms the bottom of the onion. And what you want to do is slip stitch in one round down from where that is. So where you've got that round like that, you just need to slip stitch in one round down. Now, when you're doing this kind of thing where we're basically chaining and we're working down stitches, what it creates is a definite right side to the stitches and wrong side to the stitches. And the right side curls inwards with the wrong side forwards. So if you want them to look exactly like this, so you've got the curls on those roots coming under rather than coming outwards, what you need to make sure is that you've got your right side facing inwards. So what I'm going to do, you can see where your rounds are in that round. You've got a step there where you first introduced doing that back loop only. What I'm going to do is slip stitch in one round down from there. So like that. So just to show you how to do each route, so we're going to chain six. We're going to slip stitch back down that chain twice. Then we're going to do an increase in a double crochet. So into the third one, do one double crochet and a second double crochet. And that just helps it curve underwards under nicely. Then into the last two stitches of the chain, do two double crochets. So one into one, one into the next one. And then what you want to do is keep following the curve of the round. So that round that's one round down from that back loop round, all you need to do is go back in and slip stitch in at the base of that one, then slip stitch across to the next stitch, following the circle of that round, and then do the same thing again. So let's stuff and sew our onion together. So as I said in the first instance, you are going to need quite a lot of stuffing in order to fill up this shape. And once the stuffing's in, do make sure you move it around and manipulate it in your hands so it's nicely even and you haven't got any lumps. Then stuff the three stems. And to put the stuffing into the stems, you're probably going to need to use the handle of your hook in order to push it through that tip hole. So gather the stitches on the tip of the three shoots. And then you can actually sew those in and fasten them off because we're not going to be using those to sew them in. Then I'm going to sew in the ends where I've just added those roots onto the bottom. But a tip really is when you're making the body of the onion, leave a long length on the top. Now, if you've already made yours and you've not done that, you can always rejoin a length. But the best way to get a neat finish on the onion is to actually use the colour that you've made the um, body of the onion in to, to secure these um, shoots in position. So what you need to do is put your three shoots in the top. Now it will be a tight squeeze, um, but that's what we want because we obviously want them to be held into position. So put your three roots in. And then just have a look at how you want them to be. So decide how much of the cream you want to see coming out of the top to form the front. Now, I think that that would make a nice looking front of my onion there. Decide if you are going to put a face, where you're going to put that face on, and then really just decide how you want them. So I like the fact that I can see a little bit of the cream on all three of those there. And then using your beetroot end that you've got, 
and I might have to attach a bit more there because mine's not very long. What you do is just sew in through those pieces, through that neck of the body. So in through like that. It might be easier to almost pin them in place with it to begin with and then rejoin a length and make sure that it's very, very secure. So I've got a few stitches in place so I know they're not going anywhere. I'm just going to fasten that off and then I'm going to rejoin a longer length of beetroot and I'll just really make sure I'm putting lots of stitches through both sides until they're very secure. Now if you are making this for a child, just make sure that you've got lots of stitches going definitely directly through all the shoots because what you want to make sure is that the stuffing obviously can't come up through that middle bit so just make sure that you've got lots of stitches going right the way through one leaf and through a second leaf um, as many times as you've got length on your yarn really until you know that that's absolutely secure and there's no way that they can ever come out. So now for sewing on the eyes, um, same as I have done for all the veg, I'm just going to use cream and black wool um, in the same weight that I've crocheted in to put the eyes on. And because this onion is a big shape, I've actually um, put quite large eyes onto it to keep it nice and proportional. So I've actually used eyes that are sewn in over four rounds on this shape. So what that means is when I put that in, I can count one, two, three, four rounds up and I'll draw my cream triangle across those four rounds. And then when it comes to sewing your legs on, so the legs that I've got here are actually made in chive, which is different to the suggestion within the book. Um, it's quite nice to make the legs from the cream, so the bottom of the shoots there, but obviously it's up to you in terms of what you've got left. When you're sewing the legs on the onion, in order to get a nice neat finish, I just try and keep your legs out of that central circle. So that central circle that we work the roots in, just sew your legs on just outside of that circle. And that way you'll get a nice neat finish that it will sit up on those roots at the bottom. <laughs> 